Princess Academy School and Fairies. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we'll be decorating Jasmine's room. I'm very, very excited to decorate this room in particular because I'm a big fan of bold colors and just patterns and glitter. And Jasmine's room just seemed like the perfect opportunity to showcase all of this. And of course, we needed to add some other magical elements like the magic flying carpet. And I wanted to include another character, which of course has to be the genie. He can go around town granting wishes and getting all the other princesses in trouble. And I thought that would be an amazing idea to kind of spice up our stories. And here's the happy family. This is the final product. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I did here was add some fabric and added it as a wallpaper. Oh, here's the little edge. And of course, I needed to pair it up with uh, some flamingo fabric. And I used a piece of ribbon as trim in a teal color. And you can see here the flamingo floors and the beautiful pattern on the back there. Okay, we have our base finished. Now we need to add a bunch of furniture. So we'll start with the bed, of course. The frame is made out of um, just little craft sticks painted in a beautiful purple shade. I wanted it to stand out, and if I added too much pink, I feel like it would just blend in too much. Oh, I missed the spot there. And of course, we'll need a dresser. I just decorated this one in some pink coral tones and just some green recycled paper. What I actually love about these drawers is that you can actually open and close them. That allows us to store clothes, shoes, or toys, or any other accessories that we might need for our adults' rooms. I am going to go ahead and paint this purple too, just so it matches the bed frame. And now you have the final product side by side. And there we go. It looks amazing. I love it. And of course, we needed to add a magical flying carpet. It is an essential part of Jasmine's story. I really love how they portrayed it in the movie, in both movies actually. Three of them if you count the live action movie. And all I did here was use a thick cardboard material, covered it in some teal fabric, and added some gold trim with little tassels in the end. And I believe it's sturdy enough that you can use it as a flying carpet. Wow. Oh, see, it won't break. It holds up a doll perfectly. And you can use it as a bed frame. Two in one. So we're gonna go ahead and place the bed frame in the corner. <laughs> And of course, at the magical flying carpet. And this is just um, some spare gold fabric that I had. And we're gonna use that as a blanket. And then we're just gonna add a touch of satin fabric in a bold pink color. I love how it's looking, but now we're gonna need a rug. And we're gonna place the dresser right next to the bed. I found these little Happy Mother's Day boxes at the dollar store and then we can just place it on the dresser for little Jasmine or mom Jasmine to include all of her accessories and a little fishbowl because I want her to eventually have another pet. This is how the finished area looks like. We have the bed frame, we have the dresser, but now we need a couch. Of course they need somewhere to sit. This is not the original couch. I did go ahead and cover it with this satiny green fabric. All I did was just glue it. I didn't finish the back, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and show you the front of it. Okay, and then we're gonna place it right there in the middle. And now we have that big empty space on the opposite corner. I think we're just gonna go ahead and use a dresser. She needs somewhere to put all her clothes in with hangers. So we're gonna go ahead and use this recycled box. And this little stick, which we are going to measure. And cut. And we're gonna make sure that it fits well. And you guys won't believe this, but the name of this color is actually called Flamingo. It matches our floors. Oh, 
Once that is finished, we're gonna use some cardboard or any leftover material that you have. Okay, we're gonna need two of them, one on each side so they can hold up the little stick that we just painted. Okay, we're gonna place one on either side with a touch of hot glue. I love how it's looking. And let's place it in the corner. Okay, so now we need hangers. Add some hangers, add another, and another, and another. Last one. Oops, just kidding. And I love how it's looking. We got a lot of essential furniture already, but there's something missing. So I have an idea, guys. I have these little mirrors and a golden tone, but they're see-through. And I love these little imperfections that they have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out an oval, hopefully the same size as these little mirrors. I did a terrible job. And I'm gonna glue it to the back side. Okay, and then we're just gonna place it in the middle now. One, two, and three. Voila! I love this. I, I felt like the apartment was missing something besides that beautiful wallpaper. I'm also in love with the color palette that we have. We have greens, we have purples, we have bright pinks. We have even a touch of golden. And the layout is great too. They have plenty of space to move around. For the next part, you're just gonna need a simple ice tray but we are actually gonna use them as a shoe shelf. We're also gonna include a little house for Raja. This was actually part of an animator's kit. It came with little Raja, Jasmine, and this little house, and some other accessories. But we're just gonna go ahead and include these as part of the apartment. And we're gonna place the house there and little Raja inside. There we go, he fits perfectly. And I found this little golden chair with a little touch of pink and I think it will go well here in Jasmine's room. Also this cute little golden box, we're gonna go ahead and just place it in the closet. And I wanted to show you guys little Raja's bowl. It has his name engraved in gold. It's adorable. And now we're also gonna give little Raja his own little cushion. This was also part of the mini animators kit, guys. We're gonna place it right next to him. And I think little Raj is gonna be very happy here. This is a very lovely home. After all, he's used to all the comforts that come with the palace life. And now Jasmine. Guys, I really wanted to show you these little shoes. I love shoes with, with special little details and I thought these shoes were just adorable. Let's put that shoe back. And here we have little Jasmine. Oh, oh, I think she was eating some cookies. Yep, let's clean her face up a bit. Okay, and now we have the happy family. Jasmine is now playing with little Raja. There he goes. Uh, I, I think you guys need to feed him. He does not look very happy. Anyone? Hello? Now, was anybody looking to have some wishes granted? Jeannie's here. How are you, Jeannie? Would you like to take a seat? How are you liking our new apartment? I'm glad you popped in for a cup of tea. And Jasmine is so very happy to have company. I bet she's gonna have a housewarming party and invite the rest of the princesses. Especially because we heard there's a new family that just moved in. Wow! We are so excited to meet our new neighbors. We heard that they come from a far, far, far away place. And I heard that she has a tiny little daughter with adorable curly hair and her name is Amelie. I really hope they like pies because I'm thinking of cooking something wonderful for them. And perhaps little Jasmine can deliver it. 
I'm so excited! New neighbors, guys! New neighbors! Mom, I'm super excited! I can't wait till they meet the genie! I bet he can grant them a ton of wishes! Um, I'm actually thinking of granting three new wishes as part of the welcome gift to the new family. Can you guys keep it a secret? I'm not supposed to grant any wishes. Can you? Can you? Can you really? <clears throat> Is anybody gonna feed me? It's still empty. I need my food. This glitter isn't cheap to maintain. I'm actually really happy with the results. I love the colors. I love all the furniture. But now it's time for us to decorate the outside of the apartment. Okay, so what I did here is I used this foam glittery material uh, and just used scraps of the flamingo material that I had left over. Now I'm gonna use a placemat. Yes, you heard correctly. This is actually a placemat. I am gonna have to make an allowance for the window, which I completely forgot. So here you see me going around and marking where it is that I am going to cut. Think ahead, guys. Always think ahead. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to open our windows. Oh, no! Now, don't throw this away just yet. We can always use that spare material. For now, we're gonna go ahead and use some hot glue and make sure that it actually stays in place. And now, we're just gonna use a tiny bit of this material. And then we're gonna fold it on both sides. There we go. We're gonna use a bit of hot glue. And I'm sure by now, you guys have a pretty good idea of what we're trying to achieve here. hard part. You have no idea how many times I've burned my little fingers with this. Okay, and there we go. We now have our own little door handle. Very happy with it. And here we can see the final result. I love it. And now we have to decorate the inside. There was just too much cardboard exposed and I just didn't want it to show. So between the silver and the bright pink, I actually am gonna choose the silver just because there's way too much pink already inside the house and we are in desperate need of contrast. And I think that looks lovely. It also makes the purple stand out more. Okay guys, and here we have the final product. We have little Jasmine and Aladdin, brother and sister, both taking a ride on the magic carpet and Jasmine watching them from the window and making sure Jeannie doesn't ground them any wishes today. Sorry we gave Raja all the pie, mom. Yeah, we gave him a really bad tummy ache. We won't do it again, we promise. Or will we? Don't tell her. Ugh, you guys. Poor little Raja. And here we have the entire game together. We have Jasmine, Aladdin, and little Raja all taking a ride on the magic carpet. They look very, very happy and it almost looks like it's actually floating. And of course we have the genie. Oh, and Jasmine. Jasmine's there making sure that they are being safe on that magic carpet and that they don't get any wishes granted. They gave Raja the pie that was supposed to be for her new neighbor, so now she has to make another one. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We worked really hard on Jasmine's room, but it was a lot, a lot of fun. She's actually going to be living in the same building as Merida and a certain other princess who no longer eats apples after she was almost poisoned by an evil witch. Remember, we'll be uploading more videos of our doll town. We still need to do Rapunzel's, we still need to do Cinderella's, which of course is going to be filled 
with a lot and a lot of shoes. Don't miss a thing guys! Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button.